Walk into another he said, she said, and I'm, my name is Ronald Johnson. And first time tuning in, what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. So you're looking to better relationship with yourself or better relationships around you. This is where I can help. I'm a behavioral mindset coach and positive psychology practitioner. And Denise, let's just take it away. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. This is our 12th, count them 12, the Even Dozen podcast. Yay. Um, I'm Denise Lewis, and I have a, co a coaching company called Grand Slam Coaching. You can find me at grandslamcoaching.com. And I am not, I'm a performance-based coach, not only on the field, but also off the field. So if your realm is the boardroom, the courtroom, or the classroom, I can certainly help you put on your best performance ever each and every single day so that every day is a Grand Slam day. However you define it. All right. Yeah. Ron, you are really warm. You are stretching. It looks like you're getting ready for summer today. What's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm warming up. I'm getting the bat warmed up. I'm ready to stay out the park because it's summertime in 2021. He's yes. ready for summertime. I will, I will have to say this, though. I'm not a summertime person. I like fall and I love winter, but I don't mind going to a beach where the sun is white, the beach is warm, and I got a nice crisp breeze coming off the ocean. I'm thinking about Hawaii because it's the only place I've been where I experienced that. But I want to go to Tahiti one day. I want to go somewhere beautiful and gorgeous. But like I said, admit, I am a winter and autumn baby. I like the sun going down at 4, rising at 7. I don't want the sun coming up at 5 a.m. and go down at 10. I look forward to that. But <laughs> for the summertime, I would like to be at a beach, white sand, warm warm water with a cocktail and it's kicking back well, now i will need an umbrella and some shade because i don't i don't want all that sun on my skin i want some shade i'm good with that <laughs> well it sounds like you're ready for some some fun in 2021 <laughs> i'm certainly yeah and okay oh denise what's on your list a uh, summertime in 2021 what do you want to do first Baseball, 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 baseball. <laughs> I want to go to the game. I can't wait to go to a baseball game. You know what came to mind there is that when that batter hits the ball and goes over the edge and you want know leans over but falls through, like yep. you have that little stand part, the guy jumps uh -huh. out to get him. Fall. I, I can see you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You're to catch the ball and you just fall right over. It, well, yes, and that that would be me. That 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 is why I I love the bleacher section. It's got great atmosphere. I love the hot dogs. That's the only place I'll actually drink beer, which is not my fan favorite because I drank so much in Australia. I drank enough for the rest of my life. Um, they do sell wine now at Oracle Park, but you know it's just like shoddy, warm, you know. And they fill it right to the rim, so you got to guzzle a bunch before you can actually yeah. walk. So. Just give me a beer. It's okay. And give me a hot dog. That's the only place I'll have mustard on a dog is at the ballpark. There's something about mustard and the hot dog in the outdoor ballpark that just all go together. And all I want to Pat. So what's that old song goes? Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and pepper jacks or something. Buy I know I messed peanuts up. Peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care <laughs> if I ever come back. So it's root, root, root for the, the actual home team, but everyone throws in their, whoever their home team is. And if they lose, it's a shame because it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Oh, and there we go. Okay. And that's so, in the sixth inning or at the beginning of the seventh inning. And in the middle of the seventh inning is the seventh inning stretch. And I hated Cracker Jacks. So, because no why? No mm -hmm. one reason why. They only put one to three peanuts in the whole box. See, I always got the I always got the boxes with tons of peanuts, and I didn't like the red coating over the nuts. It was just I didn't like that. So you had no nuts, I had all the nuts. So this is why we're friends because the nuts <laughs> are coming together. The nuts are finally meeting after all of this time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you gonna play? You wanna go to the baseball game? Give you a yep. hot dog, maybe some cracker jacks. Give you a warm beer, not filled to the brim. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, cold, cold beer not till, filled to the brim, and of course there, of course there, then there's the lemonade. But it's funny because in San Francisco, yeah, we know how the microclimates in San Francisco are. You get the really cold nights, and the hot chocolate sales are up, lemonades down. Then the next day it's hot, and hot chocolate's down, lemonades up. But then oh, in the middle, then you get a temperature shift in the middle of the game. <laughs> get some coffee. Well, yeah, who in August drinks hot chocolate unless you're in San Francisco? I mean, this is just the way it is. So I. 
Yeah, unless you're an SF. Good thing is, mm-hmm. I'm not in Bay Area no more, so I don't worry about that. But in Washington, right now it's considered warm, which is like 55 degrees. Mm-hmm. So it could be 55 degrees now. Four or five hours later, rain comes in and drops down to 40. Yep. Well, the, we you have microclimates just like we have microclimates here. But I will tell you this, Ron. You need some serious coaching before you go to any sporting event. My sister in New York, same thing. She Two summers ago... She's texting me, oh my God, are you, are you at the ballpark? And I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go in. She said, we're taking the subway, going to a Mets game. What do I need to know? So I was like, okay, you need to go to the ballpark. Tell okay, her. hold on. So Tell, give more detail of why I need coaching and sports. Okay, well, you were like my sister. She actually texted me, and one of her, one of her questions on the text was, when is the seventh inning stretch again? The seventh inning stretch know. is in the seventh inning. You don't even know the words to take me out to the ball game. I bet no, if you I, ordered a dog, you'd do it totally wrong. I'll put ketchup on it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're Got doing you. it wrong. You're, you're doing it wrong at the ballpark. If you're going to do ketchup, then you got to have the onions, the relish, and the mustard. A mustard becomes optional once you put the relish on and the onions. But or sauerkraut. Doing... Yep, you can do that too. Yep. But yeah, you no. have to have a little coaching before you go because I know you'll be like, oh my God, it's a touchdown when you're at a baseball game. I know you. Oh, hold on, hold on, no. That <laughs> I understand the difference that I, I get. I may not be the guy, a person that's in the sports 100%, but I know this between football, basketball, and baseball. I did grow up watching, my dad was a baseball, sorry, basketball fan. He loved the LA Lakers. Mm-hmm. I've been to two Padres games in San Diego. Okay. I've been to one football game with the San Diego Chargers when they were the San Diego Chargers. I think now they're the LA Chargers. Yes. Uh, and that's when Junior Sale actually played. So I did me back to the 90s. Yeah. But I do know at least that I may not be the sports person watching stats. I do know the trades going on. I do know what's playing what, who won the Super Bowl. I do know those. <laughs> but I'm not going to be the guy, our person, watching TV all day long on a Sunday. That just... That doesn't work for me. I, I get bored. I'm not, I'm not asking you to. I will just make sure before you go to a professional game, I will make sure you have the salient points that make you look smarter than you are on the given day. Yes. How about that? I, How about that? I, okay. I agree to that. I agree to that. Once when I when I go to sporting event, you're the first person on speed dial. Who, okay. what, when, where, how of that particular sport, and you'll coach me through because I want to at least know. Whoever I go with, that I at least know something so I can help them and coach them. At least, right? Exactly. I'm not going to expect you to run the scorebook, but I don't want you to have it, you know, the umpire chucking someone out of the game and saying, look, he's going to the penalty box. <laughs> That's hockey. <laughs> I least know that. Exactly. Exactly. So, okay. so now that we're into um, baseball being my summer fun, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can take my son either to the Delta or to the beach this summer, although his dad takes him to the beach a lot. My friend who has the boat on the Delta actually might be moving up to Tahoe uh, in a few days. I'm going to find out about that. And maybe we can go to Tahoe and see him for a couple of days. I don't know, that which would be fun. great fun. Um, I know Coco would love it up there. She loves being in the car. And other than that, just working and hoping to God, my, my kid gets a job this summer. Oh, OK. Hold on. Hold on. So he's 18 now, right? He's 18. Kiddo. And where does he want to work? Well, two summers ago, he worked at Safeway. So the big joke when I got my job at Safeway, same Safeway last February was that my kid got me a job and he was going to, I wanted him to work last summer, but then COVID hit and everything was going down and we had the fires and it was just bad. So I was like, okay, just stay. We don't know what's going on. Stay home. Well, now that I'm in management, now he can't work at my same store. He still isn't driving yet. Okay. So yes we're a block away from downtown walnut creek so there's all sorts of places to go and i was thinking today in the shower i might have him i'm trying to have his teachers at school coach him either to get maybe get a job at ace hardware and then a buddy of mine owns the extreme pizza and i may call him up and say dave just get my get my kid in there for like 20 hours a week that's all you need part-time right if if he works some more great but he's got to do something for at least 20 hours a week and get out of this apartment oh yeah so. I'm, you know what? My boys are 17 and 16. I'm already talking about, hey, so what are we can do for your summer job. What are you yeah. going? What are you, you going to do? Um, because 
to me, it's not about having the money come in. I just want to understand two concepts. Mm -hmm. First concept is money, money, as my parents would say, money doesn't grow in trees, but the concept of, let's say, they're gonna buy these expensive $300 pair of shoes, okay? So let's do the math. Which, what do you currently make? How many hours you gotta work a week to buy these shoes? Less, you gotta pay for your cell phone, you gotta pay for your food, your budget. So how many hours you gotta make work cumulative to afford these shoes? Because a lot of times, at least my, my kids say one thing, I gotta say, hey, no. They're like, well, can't you afford it? It's really not about afford, it's about creating that good work ethic that I have. Yes. It's about creating the fact that understand how things cost and understand how to manage money at an earlier age because their generation, at least my kids' generation and yours, credit will be huge. Absolutely. You don't want to be 21 years old, 25 years old, and you already got bad credit, right? I mean, student loans, we, all people know about that, but they usually give you a lot of years to pay it off, okay? But I don't want to make mistakes. I did getting a credit card and just charging it up. So I hope to get a job to understand, look, it's the work ethic. Because if you better develop a good work ethic at work, that's what you do in college. That's what uh -huh. you do in your real job. That's what you do in relationships. It's constant work, depending on what environment you're doing. But get that job. Yeah, but, but it's also, you know, you brought up a really good point that money doesn't grow on trees and about the whole work ethic and everything like that. But it's the bigger pool. If you're the, the breadwinner, like I'm the breadwinner with my son and I, you know, there are times when I get to be number one. There are times when the dog is number one. Mm -hmm. There are times when Kincaid is number one. It's not always about him. It's not always about the dog. It's not always about me. Mm -hmm. We need to take turns with the pool and the pool gets divided into so many slices, you know, so many cups or pieces of the pie, however you want to do it every single week. And that depends on how many hours I worked into what's brought in. And mm -hmm. there are also necessities. A pair of shoes is a necessity. A three hundred dollar pair of shoes is a luxury. Mm -hmm. So, how do you differentiate between the two? How do you make that happen? And oh, back to okay, we had on last week's podcast. Here's a funny thing, because we're digressing away from the topic of fun in twenty twenty one, summer twenty twenty one. I helped that woman found that missing person last week, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, I remember that. Went walking the next morning with Coco, and I found a twenty dollar bill on the ground. Look at that. So my thing was hmm, homeless person, treat myself. What do I do? Buy something for my kid, get a nice dinner. I don't know. And I bought her a bone and I bought me a treat. There you go. You guys oh, both treat. ate out 20 bucks. Yeah, because she, if she hadn't, because it was a Coco's Choice Day. Mm -hmm. So she chose to go this path when I didn't want to this particular route and so she got half the money and I got half the money unfortunately Ooh, that. got none but <laughs> that's just the way it was this week hey sharing is caring sharing is caring and yeah. back to that summertime part of being in summertime is being around friends and family yes. and people you generally care about chugging bing cheers <laughs> or salute whatever it is and drinking nice cold beer so let's talk about summertime what's your favorite summer alcoholic drink Ooh, definitely a gin and tonic gin and tonic Ooh. vodka crayon uh something like that that's that's light refreshing um not too sweet because i like to think i'm sweet enough as i am <laughs> <laughs> see i can't but that bunny was good but see i can't even say it with a straight face so we know i'm full of you know full of beans but um but yeah, something light and refreshing and just, and it really just having good company, good company and good yeah. food, you know? Yeah. So That's what about you, about. Mom? What, okay. What's your favorite So drink? I don't like anything fruity at this point in my life. I like a nice Manhattan and mm -hmm. old fashioned or just a nice Japanese whiskey neat. I can deal with that. Not chill. Okay. That's it. Or I know what downfall is. A lot of places don't have Japanese whiskey. Yeah. And old fashioned. Jack and Coke, or what is it? Uh, Giant Walker and Coke. I can still with that. I'm good. I don't like anything sweet. I love dark alcohol. That's my go to. But if it's chill, I like that even better. Because you know what? The old Ma Manhattan's old fashioned, but that little, um, what is it called? Uh, like a little zest of lemon or orange in there. And that's right. all I need. I'm good right. to go. Do you drink beer? Not a beer drinker. I have found at least one or two beers I like, 
most town will never be my go to. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm open for beer recommendations, though. I'm open for well, that because I like to try it out. Well, here's something I'm going to recommend for you. It's called a shandy. It's very okay. big in England and Australia, New Zealand, and you take a very pale ale, right? Okay. And so you do about, try it half and half. So you do half beer and half Sprite. Very refreshing on a really hot summer day. It's called a shandy. Half, so any kind of beer and a Sprite? Mm hmm But the, it, a pale beer, a very pale amber ale. So like an ale, Let's so ale. Like, Budweiser or, or uh, oh God, I mean, St. Pauli Coors. girls start to get a little too heavy. Yeah, you could do it with Coors, you can do it with Bud, Bud Light, you know, all, all that kind of light stuff, you know? Okay. I, maybe I, beer, I know they have hops, they have dark and light. I'm not that, that's not my forte. So you, you're teaching me something right here about summertime fun. So Sprite and a Budweiser, and that's all I got to know about, right? Yep, it's called a Shandy. Mm-hmm. Shandy. Okay, I gotta check that out. Then now we're buying a six pack of beer. I buy a couple of sprites, regular sprite or light sprite. Does it matter? Regular sprite, regular sprite. And just pour it up, boom, boom, and yeah. drink. Half and half and drink. Right. It's it's best on a really hot day. Why does it make it really uh? Why a really hot day? How about if it's like seventy degrees outside? Yeah, if that's hot for you because you're a lightweight in the summertime, that might be hot for you. But it's just it's just refreshing. Okay, so, I, I, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Cause yeah, here in Washington, okay. we may get like 70, 75, maybe 80, but mm -hmm. no hundreds. We won't have no heat waves out here, okay. the far north. Okay. So, so as so I said, that's why I'm trying to figure out the time temperature. Let's say it's 60 degrees, 75 degrees are fine. Okay, so are you still gonna go to the beach in the summertime when it's 60, 75 degrees? Uh, we don't have the beach, it'll be a lake. But if I, if I travel somewhere warm, Hawaii, Tahiti, I will get my butt in that water. That's for sure. Okay. All right. I've not been to Tahiti, but I've been to Hawaii multiple times. So I'm into that. I would love to go to Tahiti. I'd love to go to Fiji. Uh, oh, but yes. Been, but I have been to Indonesia. Um, you could see, you could go in June and July because it's their winter. Uh, being the, you know, not so super hot person that you are. But it's still it's still wonderful. It's wonderful weather. It's just the days are shorter. That's all. That's good with me. Oh, I know what in Mexico too, right on Cancun. You could, but when you go in the in the summertime because it's so hot, if you play golf, twilight hours start at seven thirty in the morning, and because it's wow. the because for them it's technically the off season because it's mm -hmm. so hot. Um, the food, the quality of the food isn't as good. Ooh, good to know then. Because mm -hmm. I, I think I think Mexico is good doing like Cancun is good doing what December January because it's kind of opposite too. Mm -hmm. But it's it's um that's more the that's more the tourist time. But it gets just so uncomfortably unbearably hot in June July and August that the few the couple times I've been in Mexico has been in that time because it's been less expensive, mm -hmm. and there's a reason for that. And you know the resorts weren't full, not all the restaurants were open. Um, the quality of the food itself wasn't as good because um, that's when they're, Mexico's exporting a lot of it, which, it, and, and it all makes sense. I have no problem with that. But if I'm going to spend money to go to a resort, I, I don't care if there's two restaurants instead of seven, I want the two to have good quality food. And, exactly. for some, you know, and my standard of good quality is probably way above and beyond a lot of other people's and would be totally fine. Um, that was just me. So, okay, I gotta get my foot out there. So, I'm thinking about now is vacation, those little huts in the water, waking up to the waves, waking up from my fruits. Or, what I was thinking about now is I'm getting back into a remote control car hobby. So, because summertime is coming, I get to fly my remote control plane. That's on my list to do this summer. Ooh, are you gonna put the GoPro camera up there and take, take pictures of everywhere it flies? You know what? I, I don't have a GoPro, but. I will buy it, put it on top because it pretty much it's like um, in remote control airplanes, you have good, better, best, right? right. You got some people that are super advanced. Like if you go to YouTube right now, type in large scale remote control airplanes. Some of these people have the eight foot long and mm -hmm. eight foot wingspans. They're wow. huge. The engines are like this big. Okay. These are massive. These, these people have taken like five to 10 years to build. They have jet planes. So big sky's the limit. But 
So I'm beginner. I'm starting off at ground zero. It's pretty much uh, use a styrofoam for the wing, styrofoam for the plane. It's an electric engine. So, I mean, if you get enough lift, drill pulls are pretty light, you should be fine. So I should take a look and try it out. Let's see. Yeah. Because I, I will have to fix it to the top of the wing. I don't know. So obviously it's a plane and it's um it's like a trike kind of plane. So two big tires in front, one small tire in back, just at an angle. Mm -hmm. So I put on top of the wing and fly it up. Because the idea here is if I can learn to fly a styrofoam one, which is inexpensive, boy, when I was a kid, my parents never allowed me to have the big one. I'm going to buy the big one with the, with the gas engine and fly that sucker. Awesome. And then you can have your own little, we'll get you your own little captain's wings and it'll be, you'll be Captain Ron. It'll be Ron's airline, you know, yep. and we'll make up this whole big, you know, thing. So, so that sounds like my captain's hat. Exactly. You can my stewardess. I, I will be the head booker. I have booker. <laughs> and, and you know, and I do have great legs, so I will wear that short suit, a uh, skirt, or uh, the short shorts for you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's get it. Let's get her done, because that's what I'll be doing this weekend. Okay. Get my beer. That's get my plane. And um, oh, I have to tell you this. Uh, so my house, we have actually um, bottom basement, a fire pit. So I'll okay. be having the chairs and s'mores. Oh, yum! Have some for me, please. Have some. I for me. will. Because my stomach says yes and my butt says no. Well, you're always sweet, so you still want more? I do, but my butt <laughs> says thank you because my butt's <laughs> like, we're, we're, we're looking really good right now and we're getting yeah. really small and tight and please don't, please don't add any more baggage down there. So I'll have some for you and I'll post on social media and tag you. What about that? That sounds like a good plan. That I like. That I like. Get that done. Yes. Okay. I know, you know, and you know, I, I hope, I hope baseball works. In fact, I was thinking about the Giants this morning on my walk and sure enough, I got home and the Giants contacted me because we're in the right tier to have limited fans and the Giants contacted me about, okay, this coming Friday and Monday, we're going to have our uh, zoom call about what's happening with the Gotham club where I work. I don't know if that's going to be opened because it's a, an enclosed space versus out in the stadium. So I hope I get to work a little bit and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to balance the Safeway job and school and saying I'm not available to Safeway so I can go duck off and work a few games because if they win a World Series ring and I'm on the payroll, I get a World Series ring too, which is like Ooh. super, super yes. cool. So I don't know how I'm going to manage all this. So it, it, it and the baseball part of it to me is more fun than work, but I still have to focus on a lot of work because I got to keep this all going. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So by summertime, you should be done with school, right? Or no? The semester ends in May, but then comes the next nine week chunk. So every nine weeks is another semester. I've done four classes. I have four classes left. Okay. So if I do two and two, two and two, then I'll be done by September. I mean, the whole goal is to get this done so that I can get promoted again and make okay. more money. So, so at the end of summer, you've graduated. Hopefully, yes, if I pass all my classes. Have your summertime fun with a pay raise, because this whole point mm -hmm. is taking this course, get more education, so you get promoted. Yep. So you can be rolling in dough before what, uh, before 21st, because 21st of September is when, uh, what is it, autumn starts. Yes. Well, well, I'm hoping so, but I'm just so, and again, this is a digression from the fun, but I've just been in such a hole that, um, you know, trying to keep a roof over my head has been a hell of a struggle. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I've got bills to pay and I've got back bills to pay. So, Ooh, yeah. so it's, so everyone's just like, oh, I'm doing a vacation, doing a vacation. Well, it's kind of hard to get excited about a vacation when if I can't pay my rent, I can't afford to I can't afford to go on vacation, even if they give me the vacation time. So okay. let's talk about for those out there, a lot of people are in the same situation you are that can travel. I don't want to travel for a vacation. What is something they can do at home outside the beer that you taught me about today that they can do summertime fun at home? Uh, summertime. Well, it, it's all about uh, company, uh, exploring uh, new areas that you might not have explored before. Of course, this is all pandemic based as some things are uh, getting more and more open. Um, 
you know, going for around Walnut Creek, we've got Brioni's, we've got, we've got all these places to go hiking. Um, there's lots of places in uh, Berkeley that you can go explore, uh, in the Oakland Hills that you can go explore. Usually they have all sorts of festivals and fairs that you can go and walk around in the summertime. But of course that didn't happen in 2020. I'm waiting for a list to come out. Usually there's a list of events that are happening. Usually this time of year, there's the um, kite festival in San Ramon. Ooh, um, okay. And of course that isn't happening because of Corona, COVID, whatever, excuse me, whatever. So um, there, there's always, there should be free stuff hanging about. I, I don't know where that is right now, but just okay. getting, even if, even getting out in the evenings and just walking around your local town, you never know who you might run into and see. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. So I can go to the beach. I can walk my local downtown area if I want to. Mm -hmm. I can get in a car where I, where I want to. I can find these local events that are small if they're still around. Mm -hmm. I go to the store, buy beer. Or in my case, I have a fireplace downstairs. I can set my own fire and eat s'mores. So that's awesome. Or a lot of movies come out this summer, okay? Mm -hmm. And because not all movie theaters are open or across the count, across the count, across the nation, mm -hmm. HBO Max, it's like 12 bucks a month. And you get all the movies that are released on HBO Max. Not all of them, but majority of all the movies that are the hit ones from- Last summer. Was it? Uh, no, no, no. It's that they're actually new movies that are coming out from um, Universal. I forgot which organization is doing it, but right. I say, for example, King Kong vs. Godzilla is going to be on HBO Max. I don't have to go to the movie theater to watch it. So it's see, Universal it, Studios, that are HBO Max. See, then it would be fun to have friends over and have have a nice dinner, have some s'mores, and then watch a movie. And you can and you you can do that, um, which would be fun. So there you go. That's sometimes fun at home. Yeah, exactly. So I'm in a little apartment, but and I have no TV, but that's okay because I don't need, I don't have, you know, I don't between school and work and all this, I don't have time for TV. I paid, no, I I paid hundred and thirty dollars to plug it in to watch the Super Bowl and called up the next day and canceled. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't do this. I just can't justify this expense. So, so when I finally got it up, it took me a couple of days to get it up, and then my girlfriend is like, oh, let's just. Because there were no bars open, she's like, "Oh, let's just go do this." And I was just like, "Like an hour before kickoff, I got it happening. I'm staying here. I'm not <laughs> moving. <laughs> I paid 130 bucks for this, so <laughs> make sure you watch it, right? But did you have a computer, so you could watch it on your computer if you don't have cable because you're streaming, All right? Let's get this in the box. Well, you know, I have Amazon Prime. I got Disney Plus for free. Don't ask me how I did that. It was a fluke. My my son found it. I have Netflix. You know, I'm happy. I'm totally oh, yeah. fine. And I, you know, I when I grew up, we didn't have a TV for six or seven years. And it didn't bother Gr me. I'm totally happy. Growing up, you got lucky if you got one hour a night or two hours in a weekend. Because most times, what are you doing? Watch TV. No, you're not. Get your butt outside. Come back home when lights come on, the street lights. Well, I I was so busy doing sports. I mean, that was never a problem. We watched, but we watched MASH on Monday nights. We watched it was good times and then mash and then i can't and then it was just the news after that that's I mean, all you had that's how to, we had we had three channels back then yes there were a time when we only had three channels but um you know i remember when it because it, it blew up and i remember it was saint patrick's day and it was the final four of the ncaa tournament and saint john's was playing xavier in the final four my dad went out that morning we went to sears bought the tv came home plugged it in watched the game game was over turned it off and it sat for like another six months. Wow. And I kid you not, it, it was around, because my mom and I, our birthdays are in September, and suddenly she was like, wait a minute, I can turn on the TV and watch Dan Rather. And she went and turned <laughs> on the news, she watched Dan Rather, and she's like, okay. And the, every night she'd turn, she'd watch Dan Rather and turn it off. And that was it. And then, and then it was like, oh yeah, there's 60 minutes. And mm -hmm. we would watch 60 minutes. And then the TV would go off again. It was just not, uh, we were always out busy doing, stop you know that was how it was then and that's why it's important for some time funny coming get your butt out the house if you can if you're willing to if you are okay if you want to get in your car and go a nice drive being in california just enjoy that fresh air absolutely and get outside outside your house and just absorb the environment just absorb what's happening at sun your skin vitamin d whatever it may be get out there and do it and have a blast and hit them out the park if you're at the baseball park 
And I want to say again, everybody, thanks for listening to another He Said, She Said on a Summertime Fun for 2021. And this is Ronald Johnson. Again, if you're interested in positive psychology or coaching with me one-on-one, I want you to go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com and hit that discovery call button or hit my master class and let's connect together. And I'm Denise Lewis, and I can be found at www.grandslamcoaching.com. And please look me up for a discovery call or for some coaching, because every day should be a Grand Slam day. Boom! Boom. It's out of here. It's out of here. (laughs) And then with that, we are out of here, too. Until next time, thank you all for tuning in to The Dirty Dozen, our 12th issue, our 12th edition of He Said, She Said. And we will see you next time. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.